We talk, uh, we go back a little bit. Your mixture of R&B and Neo Soul. How yeah. did that come about, the mixture? Yes, yeah, so I've been a lover of R&B music since, um, I, mean, I can recall, I guess, as early as 1980. Mm -hmm. um, dating myself, but I was about four years old. And, um, <laughs> you know, what a time, you know, coming out of the disco era, um, you know, R&B back in the, in the 70s and 80s. I mean, you know, it's funny now, um, that sound that artists are coming or sampling, you know, but to be alive in that time, you know, the Roger Troutmans and, you know, that sound of the early 80s. And, um, you know, I mentioned like Michael Jackson earlier, but like just that time period. So the R&B yeah. part was there. Um, then I'm a I'm a 90s uh, hip hop head. So I'm 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 seeing, you know, the Fuji's come in. I'm seeing um, D'Angelo you know mm -hmm. come on the scene and um uh, the roots and and I love that sound that Jay Diller sound um and so I, I find myself inspired by both and so um I found you know the instrument of choice that I particularly on the keyboard I use is the uh, Fender Rhodes or the Rhodes piano which you also hear in reciprocity I love the sound of that that's the same you know Stevie's main keyboard that's you know what the ro the roots use that's what um that's kind of like the the, the center point, a lot of your R and B music. And so I find myself being inspired by both and um, try to bring both of those uh, styles into my music. Yeah. 